around the world with MS World. I'm Dr. Daniel Cantor. A lot of what we hear at these medical conferences has to do with medications, some of it has to do with how MS works, and other things have to do with symptoms as well as diet and what we can do for multiple sclerosis. I'm so happy to be joined by Dr. Marcus Bach, who works at Charity Medical Faculty in Berlin. Tell me, what did you find in your study? What were you looking at exploring? We are looking actually um, if diet, especially the ketogenic diet or prolonged fasting has an impact on quality of life in multiple sclerosis patients and even if um, they have an impact on the lipid profile. So explain to people, because some people might not be familiar with ketogenic diet. We hear about ketogenic diet with epilepsy, with people with seizures sometimes, but what exactly is the ketogenic diet? Well, ketogenic diet is known in neurology for a long time, since the 1920s, if it was invented to um, uh, help in seizures. But no, we found in research that ketogenic diet also has an impact on neurodegenerative disease and on neuroprotection. So ketone bodies mediate maybe more neuroprotection. So what did you find in the study? Well, we included 60 patients and we found that those patients on a ketogenic diet had uh, increased uh, quality of life, especially physical function and uh, pain. They had reduced pain. So they had reduced pain from the diet itself. Now, some people think that ketogenic diet is too hard to do, that it's almost like fasting yourself. It, were people able to actually complete the study? Um, from 20 patients on the ketogenic diet group, 18 completed the study, and even after study end, 80% of those who started or who were, who were on the ketogenic diet continued this diet. Yeah, does it look like the ketogenic diet actually helps the MS itself or just the quality of life? Well, right now we did the study um, uh, as an outlook for feasibility. Of course, we think that there may be some uh, mode of action which is useful and therapeutics. This is actually very exciting because in recent years we've seen a lot of new data about diet. Several years ago we heard about one of the diets that's a low-fat vegan diet, the McDougal diet. And after a year it didn't help the MS relapses or MRI, but it reduced cholesterol, reduced blood pressure, and improved fatigue. So that's exciting data, and this is really exciting. In six months you were able to see something like this. Ketones are important because the human brain can handle both glucose, sugar, as well as ketones. And that's why people like Gandhi, who was able to fast for years, you know, for days and days and days, was able to still be thinking clearly. So this is an exciting avenue. We look forward to seeing you at future meetings and hearing about how this may actually help people with multiple sclerosis. Thank you so Thank much. You so much.